This is the junk man. Who is this? It's Juan Carlos. What's good? Juan Carlos. I'm going to have to tell Echo Base that Juan Carlos is actually calling in. Well, last time I called you from Medellin, Colombia. Now I'm calling you from Jaco, Costa Rica. All right. I don't know where none of them places are, but I'll take your word for it. Well, that's because you're a redneck, right? That's true. I know where uh, I know where the porta potties are. You're the most woke redneck I've I, I've come across. I am. That should be my name, the woke redneck. I like that. That's a good All handle. Right. All right. Well, I just came off the beach from drinking beer and watching Sunset, but I want to call you and talk about. I want to call you and talk about the uh, newest episode in the in the last season of uh, Mandalorian. Yeah, yeah. Now I don't want to do any spoilers. Of Teletubby, of Teletubby, junk man. Oh, Teletubby. Okay. No. no, I just don't want to do any spoilers yet. No spoilers yet, because there's people in the chat. I like to give everybody 24 hours, and then you got to police yourself after 24 hours. Okay, well, I don't. All right, well then I want to talk about overall, even into season two, the way this thing is written. I really feel like you're 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 getting clips with the Pelimoto and the season two going and attacking the base of Navarro. They're gonna make the park in in Florida, Navarra, and you're gonna have this ride where you hear the exact same talking points from the show. Like mm. when I watch this show, I feel I feel like I'm going through the line, getting ready to get on a Disney experience. And it's almost like they pointed them to write that way, in um, my opinion. I can see that. I can see that better than some of the uh, theories I heard. I can see, I mean, I, it is their most popular thing, so I could see that. But Well, you know, they, it's e some of these characters that they're using are easy to make masks of, or easy to make characters of. The R2 droid, the lizard cats, the squid faces, the Mandalorians. If, if the mm -hmm. park is now... Navarra slash where the Mandalorians live. It's easy to make these costumes and have these people interact. Yes. And it seems as if a lot of the dialogue is written for an experience. Like, hey, we're going to take over the base, and this is this is done, and then fly the two Beggars Canyon in the in the in one, and and all these things seem to be very much like a Disney. Like they're written that way. I feel like I'm standing in line sometimes watching the show. Yeah, I can see. I, I got your point there. I can see that. Uh, and that makes more right. that makes more sense than the Echo Base guys saying that it's, they're they're gonna make a Ray and Baby Yoda movie and change the park to fit it. And I was like, I don't see that happening. I mean, I don't know about that, but obviously this is super popular. A lot of kids like it. You take your kids to the park, but the park is not doing well. And when you watch these shows, I feel like a lot of the outfits and costumes are easy for them to make for the park. And True. and and. Some of these things that you get on, it's like a motion ride, and you've got Pelly Moto saying, all right, now take it through Beggar's Canyon. All right, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I can see that. So, anyway, that's the way I feel about it. I feel like the first two seasons are a little differently written than the third season. Well, tonight's epi today's episode, I felt more on track. I was like, okay, this looks like the story's getting started. So, hopefully, hopefully this season's going to pick up. And I, since I get to speak on on the air, I'd like to speak to what the Echo Base Cat said. The oh, coach, right. Coach, ca coach, Couch, whatever his name is, he don't make a whole lot of sense. But it, it doesn't seem like they're the the last episode with the uh, with the doctor. That's the main character. Like they act like that was retarded to go off yeah. the side story. <laughs> That's one of the most main characters in the whole show. Yeah, they act like it was just uh, on one episode. <laughs> yeah, he came from season one. That's, he's more important than the client. So, yeah, uh, I'm very much interested in his story. And something big going to happen with him, and then they've, they've made these women uh, the uh, spy or whatever. That's going to be an important character as well. Yes, yes. I agree. That, that episode was one of my favorites. So I don't see why, everybody, I don't see why they hated it. it. It did feel like it had... It, it, to me, when I watched it, it had a different feel, almost like watching Andor. Yeah, it did. At the same time, this season three has felt a lot like Book of Boba Fett, and Book of Boba Fett mm. felt strange. I just get into more of a, they're trying to do Clone Wars 2.0 or Rebels 2.0. That's bothering me. So uh, hopefully they're not. I'm right in there with you. It's hard to watch this animation. I've tried my damnedest to watch Clone Wars. I've tried my yeah. damnedest to watch this. Uh, <laughs> 
this bad batch. With, I'm not sure if that's a transgender, I, you know, with this kid in it. You yeah. Know, with a weird accent. It's hard to stomach that. Yes. Type of shit. I mean, it's written for kids, and I felt like the Obi Wan had good parts for kids, and that was great. But mm-hmm. the Clone Wars, the, the, uh-uh. I've had a hard time getting into the animation. Yeah, I try. Everybody like you got it's great, and I was like, I, it's, I try. It just looks so horrible. I'm getting into reading the novels though. The older uh, okay, novels, uh, that's good. And stuff. But, all right. Well, you talk to me enough. I feel like you know two dumbasses talking and talking this <laughs> much is is not good for anybody listening to it. Okay. Well, next time uh, Echo Base does a uh, pop in, you pop in there and tell the Jumpman rules. Well, no, I just don't like Coach. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know. I thought you just like screwing with him, man. Okay. No, I, 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 and you know why I don't like him. The biggest reason is because he he did get them good them good vintage toy signs. Oh, okay, I understand that. That kind of yeah. He, I, mean, he I mean, there's there's several reasons, but that's the biggest. He does. He's he's the most luckiest person I know when it comes to finding vintage stuff in the wild. I, All I the time. Luck like that. No. I found nothing. No, he <laughs> always and that one that one that he found was just one time. He's found a couple things since then. Yeah, that's why I said that's the biggest reason I don't like. Yeah, okay, I don't like him either. I agree with you now. All right. Okay, bye. Council coach. Council coach. Okay.